Hello guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So our topic for today is writing a research title and making the title page. Okay, so here are the characteristics of the good title. A title should be informative when it comes to content. It means to say that it should give us the information. A title doesn't have to be plenty of words, but it should give each reader an idea. So the number of words really do not much matter as much as it gives an idea that is meaningful and related. A title must be a phrase rather than a sentence. Keep in mind that the title should be always a phrase. A title should be interesting to the readers. Okay, so in order to make the title interesting, it should be a current issue like COVID, mass testing, distance learning, and online learning. A title predicts the content of the research paper, it means to say the title gives us an idea what the research will be. A title reflects the tone of the writing, it means to say it gives us the first impression about the research. A title should contain keywords that can make it easier to be found. Keywords can help us when we cite sources, when we look for sources related to the study. Punctuations and underlines are not used in making a good title. When we are going to write a title, punctuations are no longer needed. Underlines also are no longer needed. Okay, so based on the first guideline, the title should contain the following elements. First is the subject matter or the research problem. Second, the setting or the local of the study. Third, the respondents or participants involved in the study. Last but not the least, the time or the period when the study was conducted. The example I used was the coping attitudes of residents in Mandaluyong Yung City during the period of enhanced community quarantine. So the subject matter of this title is the coping attitudes. While the setting is the Mandaluyong Yung City, the respondents are the residents and the time or period is the period of enhanced community quarantine. So when we say the subject matter, yun yung pinaka-focus ng study mo. When we say setting, it means to say location or place. When we say respondents, people involved in the study. When we say time or period, it can you can describe the period, you can describe the school year or the date and the like. Okay, so based on the second guideline, it must be broad enough to include all aspects of the study, like what I have mentioned, yung research problem, pati yung respondents. It doesn't have to be very general or very specific, but it should be brief and concise. Ibig sabihin nun, dapat maintindihan ng readers yung title mismo. Dapat fixed at hindi magulo. So, kahit isang variable lang ang gamitin nyo, Okay lang eh, basta wag yung marami para at least may focus sa research nyo. Okay? So, ito yung example ko. Understanding the academic struggles of grade 10 students towards mathematics, a descriptive survey study. So, ano yung variable dito? Ang variable dito ay academic struggles. Okay? So, yun yung focus ng study ko towards mathematics. Andiyan naman si respondents, which is a grade 10 students. Well, I can include a location. I can also include during the time period. So, dyan po, kahit walang location or yung time, pwede. Basta importante, nandyan yung research problem, pati yung participants, as long as focus up perfectly dyan. Okay. So, based on the third guideline, terms such as analysis of, a study of, an investigation of, ay bawal pong gamitin. Dapat analysis on, a study on, an investigation on. So, ito yung example. Yung on, pwede siyang gamitin. Pero, yung off, bawal siyang gamitin. So, ito yung correct example, ito yung incorrect example natin. Okay, so ang correct example dito ay an analysis on reading literacy and numerical skills of grade 12 students in De La Salle University school year 2019-2020. Yung incorrect, an analysis of reading 
Literacy and Numerical Skills of Grade 12 Students in Telson University School Year 2019-2020. When we're going to write the title, we should observe the grammar rules kasi. Okay, so based on the fourth guideline, if the title contains more than one line, it should be written in inverted pyramid. Yung floor, yun yung parang first na row eh. Tapos yung tuktok, yung, sabi, yung supposed to be tuktok, yun yung second or next rows. So ito po yung format ng title ko in terms of position. So if possible, a title should be should be within 10 to 14 substantive words or should not be longer than 15 substantive words. Bakit? Kasi it tends to be messy. It tends to be super detailed. It tends to have more variables. Kung more variable siya, dapat we should correlate it or compare. Kaso, ang focus natin is dapat yung dapat natin i-focus dapat natin siyang pag-aralan. Ano ba gusto natin pag-aralan? So, bakit wag masyadong maraming words? Kasi it can expose the details about the research. So, naalala mo ba yung ethics of research na hindi mo dapat masyadong ine-expose masyado ang details, lalo na sa title? So, bakit it should not be longer than 15 substantive words? Kagaya yung sinabi ko sa characteristics, it doesn't need to have plenty of words but it should give us an idea okay so here is the format of the title page you'll be making so nakikita mo to dapat capital letters lahat ng bawat letter sa title mo okay ang itsura niyon is inverted pyramid ganun din dito a research paper presented to what school in partial fulfillment of practical research too so we have to practice the inverted pyramid para uniform. Okay, so here are the participants or shall I say the research writers. So here are the writers or the authors. So dapat alphabetical siya in terms of surname. So ito yung date. You don't have to to tell what day. So you can tell the month and the year. So avoid a long detailed title that gives too much information kasi it exposes us dyan na malalaman na natin lahat-lahat tungkol sa location, sa participants. So, dapat medyo generalized in terms of participants, pati in location, para hindi tayo masyado exposed. We need to observe research ethics when we're going to write the title. So, do not forget to subscribe my channel and click the notification bell. So, happy learning, guys. Enjoy, have fun. I hope this helps in making a good research title and the title page of your research. So, bye. God bless.